Hey guys, I'm back today and I've been getting so many requests to do a video on my dewy, wet, like glowy face looks. And it's one of my favorite kind of looks to do. I feel like if I'm gonna do a dead girl look or whatever, I'm always gonna have a dewy face no matter what because I hate a dry, cakey face. Um, it's just not my thing and I'd rather wear like no makeup than have like a dry cakey face So I would I'd love to do this video because it's easy for me It's something that I do just for my you know what I mean it's not like I have to like think about like a look or something and I'm not a makeup artist. This is just like what I do and I'm happy to share it with you all the products I'm gonna list below and Yeah, let me get started before I get started I talk about what I'm wearing because I'm just gonna jump into this with a plain face after this clip. Um, I'm wearing, this is, I'll be wearing this for the video. It's a, I think it's an acne jacket, but it's from a few seasons ago. Um, and then I'm wearing one of my new tops, and this is called the Forever, HRH Forever Top Tank. I just uh, released a little collection. It's called Vlog Life Collection, and it's just simple, kind of everyday tank tops in three colors, and then a bomber called the Coffee Run Bomber, which is perfect just for like, throwing on and go, and I'm gonna put that on in the very end just to show you, but I didn't wanna like wear like HRH jewelry, HRH t-shirt, HRH, you know what I mean? I was just like, let's mix it up a little bit, Alex, okay? Like, <laughs> but honestly, I would all be wearing, I would wear it before in the entire collection. I just wanna be like, oh, everything about HRH. Okay, I wanna share with you guys the three colors I'm wearing, and I also named the tanks after things I say in the vlog, which I thought was so fun. So the first one is martini, and I feel like I always get a slightly dirty martini with um, blue cheese olives, and I just feel like this looks like the color of my, my martinis, so I love it. Um, I wanna stand back and like show you how long they are too, because I've been getting a lot of questions about that, even though there are plenty of photos um, on my site for you to see. The next one, this is like a tan color, and it's called Drama. I almost called it coffee cake, but I didn't know if you guys would get that. Like, you know the Fiber One coffee cakes I eat? I didn't want, like, the names to be like, what the hell is she talking about? You know what I mean? So this is coffee cake. Uh, ah! This is drama, not coffee cake. But they're all very loose, very effortless, not clingy. You can't see anything, you know what I mean? They fall great. Like, the cuts are perfect. If you guys ever, I don't know if you guys, I know if you got, all of you guys loved the HRH Perfect Tees so much. These are a must. Okay, and the next one is black, and it's called Exiled. Okay, like, isn't that the best name ever? <laughs> and they're all ribbed. They have, like, a thick, really nice rib. They're really thick. They're not, like, skimpy at all, and they're wide, but they're not, like, that bell shape. I cannot stand that bell shape T or tank. I can't stand that. They're, they're straight, and they're long and nice. So let me back up and show you guys, like, kind of how long they are. So here's how long they are, right? Just so you know, they're not like short, they're long, and then they could be so cute, like tucked. I, I would totally do that. Um, and I am wearing the medium in the tanks and in the bomber, just so you guys know. I wanted to share that with you. I'm wearing my Sparkle Lariat, and then I'm wearing one of the chokers from the Baby Girl choker set. And then I posted this on Instagram today. I love this set so much. This is my Disco Moon bracelet, and it's I designed this honestly perfectly so that it um, it's perfectly balanced, and the big uh, crystal will stay on the top, and then the little one dangles at the bottom. And this is an AB on a gold an AB stone on a gold chain. And I also have a silver chain with a clear crystal stone, but you can also like I can use the AB on the silver one if you'd like as well, or vice versa. This is my halo bracelet, which a lot of you guys love. This is my boy chain bracelet and my Lux tattoo bracelet. I just love this set so much. So gorgeous. Okay, so I think that's it. I wanted to show you guys the tanks up close. I'm obviously gonna be wearing them. Hopefully I'll post, like there's just there's a lot of pictures on, on my um, site you can go look at to see how they fit and stuff, but they are amazing. Don't miss out. They will sell out for sure. I got more tanks this time than I did Perfect Tees because you got the Perfect Tees sold out so fast, I knew I had to accommodate more. So um, there are um, tanks left for you guys. So go check them out. And the Bomber too, which I'll show you at the end. But like I said, I didn't want to like put everything HRH right up front, get yelled at. <laughs> okay, I love you.
love you guys so much, really, and stay tuned. Hope you love this. It's a really, really good tutorial, super easy. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so just for time's sake, I've already put on my lotions. These are by Caudalie, and I hope I'm pronouncing them right. You guys know I'm notorious for not being able to pronounce things. I'm sorry. And I have, these are the Premier Crew in the cream and then the eye cream. So I'm going to link everything below so that there isn't any confusion because I want you guys to get the right stuff. And a lot of this is like Korean things and so I'm going to try and find the links for you. If not, listen and hope, or screenshot. Um, but sometimes, I don't know. I mean, I think I should be able to find it all for you. Okay. So basically with that, don't skip out on it. You see how I'm a little bit glowy right now because I'm not like, I don't skimp on it and even for the eyes, I like let it set in. I don't like rub it in, I kind of let it sit. Okay, the next thing is this. It's by this brand and I'm not gonna pronounce it because I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called the Makeup Balancer in Light Pink and it came with this. It's the cushion by the same brand and it came with some other serums. My friend Grace sent it to me and I love this. The only reason I haven't purchased it yet because I feel like I have so many other similar things. I'm just like really gonna put, purchase another like primer deal, like really. So I want to really make sure I like it. Anyway, I'm gonna do like one pump, not a full pump, but you know sometimes it, a bigger pump comes out. But I try not to like push it all the way down because I don't feel like I need that much. I don't know if I'm doing this right or if I'm even using it correctly, but I. I'm just focusing on the areas that I want to be really light. And then I also do bring it down a little bit too, but I just want pretty much around my eyes to be like the most bright and then my forehead. I don't really want my entire face to be that bright. You know what I mean? Like right here. It's really important for me that I keep everything around my eyes like very bright. Um, like, I don't know, I just feel like I want my entire eye area to be bright and moist. I don't want it to be dry. I want it to be like bright and wet looking. Um, that's like my goal. Okay, so that's that. The next thing is this. And this is my favorite cushion. I love it so much. I get the 13 light pink. But I wanted to show you guys something. I'm so stoked on this. I bought this um, this cushion as well. This is by 3CE, and they did a little collab with this guy. And I honestly only bought it because I want the container. These cushions, I think they're un universally, no matter the brand, fit. So you basically you can buy this container, like any container you like, um, and then put your favorite, even though they're not the same company, one in it. I think that's what I've heard. Hopefully. It fits, let's see, I've been waiting for you guys, waiting for you guys to do it because I didn't want to, oh no, it doesn't fit, oh, does it? It doesn't fit, fuck, it doesn't fit, look, it doesn't fit, I thought it would, my assistant told me it would, oh shit, I'm so bummed, okay, oh well, that's a bummer. I was like waiting to show you guys too. I was so excited. Okay, and sorry if I'm sniffing. I'm really sorry. I'm coming down with something, but I did not want to not do a video with you guys. And I've been getting this quest, this like request to do this tutorial so much. So I want to share. Okay, so here's the cushion, my favorite one. Except I love that container so much more. I know you're supposed to only tap, but I do like to pull as well. It's just what I like to do. I hate that when I'm ever on here, I have to like tell, I have to like say or like defend myself because I know that I'm gonna be getting like Alex, you should be doing this. Like I know, but this is what I want to do. I really try and cover everywhere, but I don't want to put a lot on. You know what I mean? Okay. So still dewy, right? Which I love. Is oh, I hate my lips have like concealer. Okay, the next thing is this face spray. And you guys know I love, love, love face sprays so much. Like my favorite thing. I feel like they're so 
like imperative when you want a dewy look, you have to get a good good face spray. I have tried so many different ones, but the ones the one I like the most is this Algenist one. I just got it. Sephora sent it to me as a gift. Like I was like, you know, I'm not being like paid or anything for this. I just really genuinely like this. Um, better than any of the ones I've used so far. Anyway, here it goes. I just spray everywhere and I know I spray a lot, but It just really does give you a wet look and it does seal your makeup very nicely in the way that I like. Okay, so that's that. The next one I do some cheeks. My favorite cheek right now is this. Thank God I love their cheek color. Okay, it's the 3CE and this is number, this is called pink. They have a peach one too, but um, I like this color for me better. Everything is about the cushions, guys. Like, cushion is the shit if you are all into this dewy look and you don't want to look cakey. As, you know what I mean? I fucking hate that, like, overly made up. Like, I love Instagram. I'm not going to, like, say I don't love Instagram, but, like, those people that wear so much makeup on there, like, those, like, can we just get some, like, normal looks? It's too, like, difficult. Plus, I don't want to look like that. It looks like you spend so much time, right? Like, like, let's just get back into, like, the easier makeup look. <laughs> I just feel like it's better. Okay, so that's that. Just a little bit of cheek color. I'm really going to do this up for you guys right now. Like, I'm really going to go over the wet face. Like, when you guys are like, oh my god, Alex, your skin is so glowy. Like, this is what I do. Okay, next is Tom Ford. And it's in this palette that's like a conceit, like a shade and illuminator sculptor. And I got it in the number one. And so it's called Intensity One. I don't use this anymore. I'm too pale for it right now. It comes out like orange on me. But this stuff is really good. It just comes out clear, pretty much. But it's like a highlighter that's not. Because I think highlighters can be like very aggressive and cheesy. And I don't really like love that. But see what it did? It just looks like I'm sweating on the top of my cheek, but not in a dirty way. Like, I just look very dewy, and I love that. That's this. Okay, the next thing is my Becca palette, and I have discovered a new color in it. So you guys know, for a dead girl, I love to use this and this. Sometimes this, if I'm feeling like super like fierce, I'll put a little bit of this on like the bottom. But I love this one too, and I think one of you guys told me, Alex, you have to check that color out, and I did. So, let me like napkin down here. Okay, right, so I just think this really brightens up my eye a lot, and I'm using the viewfinder, you guys, so don't hate me. Okay, usually I hate eyeshadow, but I just kind of love this. You know what this makes me look like? It makes me look like I just have a a more deeper, like a deeper set eye. It doesn't even really look like I'm wearing too much eyeshadow. It just looks like, well, it does. But you know what I mean? Like, it's not aggressive, and that's what I like. Okay? Then I'm also going to put some on the bottom of my eye. I love to, like, rim my... I'm trying to wipe off this brush because I only have one brush. <laughs> this other one. Okay. Then I'm going to do, take the same color. And the reason I love to line the bottom of my line eyes is because I hate this wrinkle I have here. I just feel like it's a, I don't know, like it gets worse with age and it just kind of shows like, you know, age. But I feel like when you put on a color, it kind of hides it, like a, like a matte neutral color. I'm gonna soften it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, just in case there's any harsh lines. Okay, the next is this from Chanel, and I'm just gonna use this little, this white one right here. And this is, I'm not gonna say it, I don't know. I'm gonna try to put it below, just Alex. You guys know I can't, I can't pronounce anything. It's like Les Ombres or something, and it's number four. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, so I took a little bit of the white one. I cannot speak French, you guys. Like, for anything, I cannot. I'm sorry, like, I just can't do it. But 
I'm gonna just put it right here. Very pretty, right? I love it. I just really love this. I'm surprised because I don't typically wear eyeshadow, but I find that very like necessary. Do we like, or is it too dark? A little bit too dark? So if it's too dark, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. I'm gonna work on my fat nose. Okay, let's be real. Um, and yeah, I do only contour one side because that's what I like to do. I know it's weird, I know it's weird, but it works for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Thing is, I have a huge bump on my nose inside actually. You can see it, it's like a huge bump. But this side's bigger, so it just looks makes more sense if I just contour the side that actually isn't as big. Because if I touch this, if I make this side darker, this, the bump accentuates. Make a small little ball on the tip of my nose like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my finger because that's what I do and just kind of blend it a little bit. Just touch it. And then I'm going to take this little concealer. can do a little bit more of that. So it looks like I have like a pushed up nose over the front. It makes the tip look a little smaller. Okay. This is just a clear Chanel gloss, but any gloss will do. You guys know I don't typically wear lipstick because it makes me look old and ugly. Then I'm taking this, it's the Chanel Le Volume. By the way, I know this is probably not a good thing to say, but I'm going to say it because I was like trying to like be like, Alex, you don't need to spend like freaking $40 on a... Um, Mascara, just go to the drugstore. They're just, just, a, just a fucking black mascara. Who cares? So I went and I bought like two different mascaras, and I regret it because the quality sucks. Like there were, I had like my eyes didn't have mascara, and, and at the end of the day, I was like, there was like they had fallen off. Like the mascara had fallen off my face. So happened to you guys? Like is that why? I don't know. Okay, so I have some mascara here. I like that my, I like to make my eyebrows stand up. I like bushy eyebrows. I feel like models have bushy eyebrows. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, let me make sure I didn't forget anything else. I also like this. Um, it's also 3CE and it's in a little like stick. I also like some of that. It's like in a... But look how like wet and do I look? Do we I look? Do we I look right? 
I love it. And if I wasn't talking to you guys, I feel like I would have taken way less time doing it. I mean, it's honestly very simple. My hair is like flat and I just fucking curled it. That's what happens when I put it up or I put it back. Okay, that's it. Um, I actually, some people will probably spray this on at the spray this on at the end too, but I don't. I feel like I'm just already like very wet. Throughout the day, I'll get even more wet, so I'll blot a little bit because I can be like super shiny, but it's totally better than being dried. Like, ew, who the hell wants to be dry? It's so gross. Um, so, ugh, that's it. It's only one about freaking lipstick. I hate wearing lip gloss because my hair always gets stuck. Um, I'm going to change into my bomber for you guys. So I put my Coffee Run Bomber on and a lot of you guys wanted to see it like in person and I've been getting a lot of um, questions to do like a try on but I don't really do, I'm not into my hair right now, like I feel like it just got flat, like what the hell, like I hate when my hair got flat. Um, do a try on video, I'm just going to be like wearing it in my vlog unless I, I like, don't do try on videos because like, my, my wardrobe is not extensive enough, you know what I mean? I guess I could. But if you can see how it's a little bit like shiny almost, I want to show you guys that. And then the gold, um, soft gold detail with the black trim is really, really nice. I am wearing a medium in everything, just so you guys know, but I also have my chest, it, I don't have a big chest, like it's just so you know. So if you have bigger boobs, account for that. Um, but obviously medium is good for me. But I want to show you guys this before I left. Okay, I need to go like recurl my hair. This is like not good. So I definitely need to go recurl my hair right now because it fell flat. I always like my hair like falls flat when I put it back. I can't believe it happened. I literally just curled it. So annoying. All right, well, have a great rest of the week. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out my new collection. And I hope you like this tutorial. You guys have been asking for it. Okay, bye. Love you.